<laughs> in the real life this today. It's a good look. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> How y'all doing though? You good? It's pretty good. Uh, you know, just perfecting our crafts and uh, really just getting right. What's up, money? I mean, it's, it's on us. You know, we all know that. I, I think um, a lot of people, like, they want to put it on the committee or whatever, but we, um, like, during the season and stuff like that, you know, we didn't really do what we were supposed to do when we were being inconsistent, really. Um, and we gave the committee uh, a, a, a decision to make upon us. And, you know, yeah, yeah. during the season, if we, you know, won out every game, we did what we did, we, we would be in the playoff game. But right now, I mean, we're, you know, focused on going to Tampa and playing Michigan. A lot of guys in your position who don't make the playoff just opt out of bowls like this. What yes. went into your choice not to do that? I'm playing. Hell yeah, I'm playing. I, I don't. I ain't even think about that. I want. I want to play with my brothers. Um, you know, it's another opportunity to showcase my talents and everybody else to, you know, showcase their talents and you know their hard work that they put in. What were those discussions like among you guys when you're trying to decide uh, if you're going to participate? In what you're doing? <clears throat> there wasn't no discussion. Like I'm, I'm, I'm playing. This is what I love to do. I have a passion for it, and, and I have a, a competitive nature, so I can't not play. There's obviously different guys on both sides, but there's is there a revenge factor at all for you playing Michigan, having played them last year in the playoff, get a chance to maybe, you know, get the better of them this time? Uh, I mean, I think the main thing really, just like always, um, every well, each and every week, I think the main thing is always to worry about us, worry about what we have to do to make ourselves better so we can have better production in the game, which leads us to a, a victory. When you obviously it wasn't a decision for you to play, you were always going to play. Did you make an announcement to the team or anything like that, or was it just kind of a start? I mean, no, it wasn't like no announcement. I came out of practice every day so far, and you know, was ready to work. What's maybe been the message this week? Obviously, you know, given this bowl game, some of the young guys maybe get to get an opportunity. You know, maybe how have you seen them? Maybe step up in practice. Maybe what's the message to them knowing they might get some just added reps on uh, for the bowl game? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, for their first bowl game, it's definitely a, good, a great experience. But I think the biggest thing, you know, is just keep the main thing the main thing. You know, worry about what we have to do. Um, don't get too lax or satisfied, really. You know, we have another chance and opportunity to, like I said, showcase our talent. So. <clears throat> Who's maybe a guy, you know, a younger guy you've maybe seen some some growth from this year that you've been impressed by that you're excited to, you know, maybe watch from afar next year? That's a good question. <laughs> um, There's a lot of them really. Like, I, I would definitely say the ones that's playing and the ones that's not playing because all of the freshmen, they take heed and they take um, responsibility of any action that they have on the field. And, uh, you know, they, they hold their class together. Uh, they hold their, their class accountable for each other. And, um, I mean, they all practice and they all prepare like pros. How valuable can these bowl, bowl practices be in kind of getting ready for the future, the rest of the program? I think this bowl game could set the tone um, for the the next thing, um, you know, for our program, which is uh, spring ball, um, seven on seven, and, uh, you know, all season workouts and ball camp and all that stuff. Why? Because, you know, just looking at this game is, like I said before, um, it's just another opportunity to showcase our talents and, you know, showcase all of our hard work that we just put in and, you know, everybody, you know, we all just come together and play ball. You talked about, you know, it was on y'all, y'all gave the committee a decision. Uh, there were things, you know, that y'all needed to do during the season. Just how much is this ball game an opportunity to finish strong together as a team? It means a lot, you know, to this program, like, of, of all of it, really, because I would just say, you know, like Alabama, everybody look at it as, oh, we didn't make the playoffs, this and that, but little do they know, like, we're still going to keep going regardless of no matter what program was in our way, no matter who was looking at us any type of way, because that's just the type of identity that we have as a team. Obviously, the goal is to win. What other kind of goals do y'all have for this period of time between this and the end of the season? I mean, that is, that is our goal. Like, that's our number one goal that we're looking for. And each and every day, we're going to polish our game and, you know, keep working on our craft to get to that point. Now that you're through the regular season, just what, what's overall, what would you say this first year has been like with Coach Moore? It's been great. Um, you know, I think every year is always just, you know, continuous improvement, continuous learning, you know, just like he always says to the team. Um, you know, and I mean, it's just going to only go up from here. Obviously, you have you know time to look back after the season, but just 
you know, if you think about it briefly, where do you think you've maybe grown the most so far this year in your own individual <clears throat> game? I would say offensive recognition. I would definitely say that, um, you know, just getting better with my feet work and, you know, lateral movement and quickness and speed, everything really, you know, just knowing what I have done in the off season to prepare for these moments and, you know, just to play with my brothers out here on the field is, is amazing. You, DeBoer, obviously first year coach, first year DC and Coach Womack too. I mean, maybe what's one lesson that maybe he gave you that, you know, is going to stick with you for the maybe the rest of your career? Continuous improvement. You know, you, you, you can't you can't never just stop learning. Uh, you always can keep learning the game, even on your off day, and uh, you know just keep getting better.